Okay, so we're on page seven of your packet linear functions. Okay, so look at figure zero. How many blocks? Three. 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 So let's write down three. Six. Here? Six. No. Count. No. One, two, three, four, five. Write it down. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. So what are we increasing by? What are we changing by? Yep. So we're adding two, right? Three plus two? Five. Five plus two? Seven. So if I add two more, how many will be in figure three? Good. Nine. We can just write down nine. Okay, so the table's already started for you. Figure 0 is 3, figure 1 is 5, figure 2 is 7, figure 3 is 9. Okay, go ahead and fill out, leave 17 blank. Yeah. Okay, what did you guys put for 4? And 5? 13. 13. Good. What is the word... Change means change. Um, yeah. Okay, change. So, rate of change. What am I changing by? What am I changing by? El cubito. No, va sumando los cubitos. What am I changing by? How much am I changing by? How much am I changing by? How much am I changing by? Am I changing by 5? Am I changing by 10? By 2. Very good. I am changing by 2. Each time I'm going up 2. So I change by 2. Okay? We're okay? Starting point. Starting point is figure 0. What number? How many did I start with at figure 0? Three, 3. three. three. So the three is your starting point, three. Okay, writing this down. Okay, so the rate of change is two. I'm changing by two. Starting point is figure zero, three, figure zero, three. Okay, do we see it? Yeah, okay. Now we're going to write the equation. Equation, we're gonna start with y equals, the way you set it up is you're going to have your rate of change x plus starting point. This is how our equation is going to be written. Our equation is going to be written in the following matter. You're always going to have y equals. And then this number is whatever this number is. So the rate of change is whatever the number is. Then you're going to have an x. Then you're going to have a plus sign. And at the very end is your starting point. Okay, so what is the equation to this problem using this? Y, x. Oh, so it starts with y. Good. Y equals 2x. 2x. Yes. 2x plus 3. Very good. Why? Because this is our formula. Y equals rate of change x plus starting point. So rate of change, 2. Done. Starting point, 3. Done. So you just write it out. That's it. So easy. I know. So here, 17. We're going to use your equation, y equals 2x plus 3. But instead of writing x, we're going to write 17. So y equals 2 times 17 plus 3.
Okay. What's 2 times 17? 34. Plus 3? So here is 37. So 2 times 17 is 34 plus 3, 37. Okay? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, now we're going to graph here. Let's graph 0, 3. So 0, 3 on our graph. So we're at 0, 0, then up 3. 1, 2, 3. What's my next point? 1, 5. So 1, then up 5. 2, 7. 2, up 7. 3, 9. Okay? Don't copy. Do them from here. So try to do it on your own and then check because that's how we're good at graphing. Okay. And it should be a straight line. Super straight. Any questions? No?